What's up guys? We're gonna try to do Chris Cornell's cover of Prince's song, Nothing Compares to You. Um, I kept seeing this video being shared on Facebook and it was, you know, a pretty cool version of it and I figured might as well give it a try. It's good practice for our chords. It has a couple of bar chords in it, but I'll show a couple of easier variations in case some of you aren't ready for bar chords yet. I'm gonna play the solo, but this is mainly gonna be a rhythm guitar lesson. I'll put the solo, or I'll play the solo and put the guitar tabs on the screen. But um, yeah, let's just zoom in and try this out. Okay, before we get going, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Check the links down below and you can grab my best beginner guitar chord chart. And then also remember, if you want a little bit extra help with this song, or if maybe you just wanna learn a different song, that I also teach guitar lessons through Skype. And uh, you can find more information about that down below too. Okay, this song's gonna be in standard tuning, so here's my E. Now the basic strum rhythm that I'm gonna try to stick to in this video is gonna be down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up. And if we wanted to, we could count that as one, two, a, uh, E, and, four, E, and, uh. But remember, once you're actually playing the song, it's all right if you strum a little more, a little less. To play the intro, we're gonna need a C chord. That's nothing on the sixth string. Three, two, zero, one, zero. Sometimes we're gonna stick our pinky down right underneath our third finger here, and we're just gonna add that F note into the chord. We need a G slash B. That's nothing on the sixth string. Two, zero, zero, three, three. We need an A minor, that's nothing. Zero, two, two, one, zero. And you're gonna need a G chord, that's three, two, zero, 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 three. Now when they play this song live, they threw in a couple of uh, extra little embellishments, like maybe strumming a C chord and hammering your finger down. I'm not gonna include all of those right now, um, just because really they're not consistent. They'll do them sometimes and they won't do them another. And uh, also because some of those are being played by the other guitar, the lead guitar. So we'll mostly be keeping it a little simpler. Three, four, Now right at the end of that chord sequence, when I played the C and then I put, I added that F note in there, and then I went to the G chord, the strumming, I went down, up, down. That last down was on the chord. So let's see, it's down, up, down, 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 up, down, down, up. One more time. And then we go into the verse, and the verse is almost the same as the intro, but instead of playing this A minor, we're just going to use an A7, or A minor 7. And that is nothing on the sixth string, zero, two, zero, one, zero. Basically, if you had the A minor, you could just pick up your third finger. Now, at the end of the chord sequence, on the fourth time, we're going to add in an E chord. That's gonna be zero, two, two, one, zero, zero. And then I'm also gonna stick my pinky down right at the last second for that last down, up, down, up. I'm gonna put that on the third fret of the second string, which would actually make the chord an E7. Three, four,
And now we go into the first chorus. Now this chorus is not going to be played the same as um, the other choruses. It's a little different. We're going to need a B flat chord that's nothing on the sixth string. Then one, three, 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 and then I'm going to mute the first string. Sometimes people like to play that with their pinky. And um, also, if we can't get that, we could try just to do a power chord there. So nothing on the sixth string. One, three, three. Or if you'd rather, we could even play it maybe like this. That would be nothing, nothing, three, 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 one. And you need an F chord. That is one, three, three, two, one, one. And again, this is a bar chord, so if you're not able to play the bar chord yet, we could try to do a any other variation that you know. How about this one? Let's go nothing, three, three, two, one, and then nothing on the first string. That's a really good F that's actually pretty easy to play. Three, four, cause nothing compares. And when I'm going back and forth from that B flat to that F, I'm just strumming down, 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 up. And now we go into a second verse. Now this verse is almost the exact same way as uh, the first, but we're also going to need to know how to play an F7 chord. So that's one, three, one, seven, one, one. And if you're having trouble getting this, you could just play an F. It's been so lonely without you here Like a bird without a song Nothing can stop these lonely tears from Right there, when I went into that second chorus, all the f first four chords I played, I just went the down, 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 up, but it ends on a G, or the la that sequence of four ended on a G, so I went down, 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 up, and then I continued on with the G with the normal strum. That was the down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up. So all together on the G chord, it was down, Right after that, we're going to go into the solo section, and I'll, I'll play that part too, but first let's just go through the chords all by themselves. Three, four. Now a lot of you guys will probably just want to stick with the chords, but I'm also going to play the solo real quick. I'm not going to break the solo down uh, lick by lick, but I'll put the tabs up, and if you wanted, you could hit pause and rewind and, you know, um, 
learn it little by little, and I'm sure a lot of you guys can play the solo too. After that instrumental bridge part, we go into another verse. This one is just strummed a little bit quieter and it is half as long. Good job guys, let me know if you have any questions or comments. If you have requests, you can put them down in the comments or you can get a hold of me on social media. I take requests through there. And um, let's see, please remember to hit like and to share this video with somebody. And um, yeah, I'll just see you guys next time.